Yeah, so we drove around the block and it works completely fine. No, no, no problems yeah. with the setup. It's not going anywhere. It, yeah. It's, yeah, it's stable. I didn't even strap down or the, anything. Yeah. So. Oh, that's just the weight of the. Yeah, but we didn't yeah. There's just like not much room for it to go uh -huh. around. Eh. I did some acceleration. I think I, I'm pretty confident this will be fine. So I actually plugged it in this morning from cold, and I wanted to see how much energy it was going to take up. Oh, okay. And it was like center and a half. Yeah, sounds about to right. Heat it up fully. It's 123. Kilowatt hour battery. battery. Yep. Oh, I don't want to do the math for these moments. No, we can do we can do the math in another video. <laughs> no, like, do, like, There's no math. It's math. literally like, plus or minus. Like based on the specific heat capacity of the water that you want to heat up. That's yeah. oh. be, like what is the theoretical energy required? <laughs> I was just gonna do like how many lattes can you make? <laughs> All right, we're going to park this and we're going to go look at some of the uh, closer updates that have been done to the truck. Obviously, we finally took the wheel covers off. It's uh, Moo Coffee. What we're doing today is we're just basically setting up the truck, just getting it ready, low testing it before our first farmer's market service. Each weekend, we're doing maybe 100, 200 different lattes. We're going to see, does the truck survive? And right now, it's basically just a whole setup back there. Uh, got the cafe racer, E80, all that stuff set up. And we even have the canopy. You're going to see different parts of the truck evolve over time as well. Visuals, the build, the finish, all that's going to look a little bit different across each video, just because we're continuously iterating. Oh, is that embossed? Whoa. What? Whoa, oh, yeah. look at that. Yeah. Sick. Hey, do you see the embroidery on the front? Oh, The BAC dude. hoodies are uh, coming from the same people. Very cool. Yeah, I hope you're ready for them. So yeah. then it'll be right here. Yeah, and then we'll have the stand in front right there. The tailgate's going to be covered here. Yeah. The tailgate's going to cover up quite a bit of it. Yeah. yeah. This actually is probably the standard parking spot, too. Yeah, you know, probably. like it'll actually fit within the parking spot. <laughs> well, because what we can also do is like once this is pulled out, you can actually cover the shape. Yeah, we just like, do that. Yeah. yeah. The You're only thing is if it's stop it? yeah. Well, I was just thinking like you know the farmers market would just like, cover it. Cover it halfway. Cover it. Yeah. Mm. Just in case. It's gonna be tricky if there's any rain whatsoever. Well, that's why we probably wouldn't set up in the rain because it is yeah. a key to deal with. I'm gonna need like another canopy. <laughs> just avoid the rain. We'll be like we're. <laughs> this is only a mostly fair water, well, fair weather setup. So I was thinking you'd have to like... We, did, we uh, finished the top. We added um, a yeah, laminate sheet. So oh, it looks good. Uh, so it's also what? sealed um, and easy to clean. The way that I'm securing is a ratchet yeah. strap. Yeah. Basically. Your welds look great. Oh, thanks. You look like you're really good with a grinder. <laughs> and then the water is secure there. Yeah, this machine's not really moving anywhere when you're driving. So that is the big concern that people have asked. <laughs> it's like, what happens? Yeah, it's not even moving even when I want it to move. I mean, we could probably make like a, you could probably use like a door stopper, honestly, on one of the edges. And that honestly might be enough. True. So Do then you we'll also add this, like, mm -hmm. to cover it um, when it's under the tongue. Oh, you don't have a break for it when it's like out, right? Addition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was not a piece I was able to get done. I like this wood. Oh, it's hot. You can take it off. Yeah, it, it's it's been uh it's been preheating this entire time. Wait, <laughs> has, has it been preheating the entire time we were driving around? No, oh. before. Um, but I guess I could have left it preheating. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you roll up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just aesthetic. it just aesthetics. It looks good. Is it good. normally a uh, like a U style paddle? I think. It's no, no, no. Like, this is all. This is really hot. Oh, but no, yeah. Yeah. they want you to. Yeah, it oh, comes yeah, with it. Comes with it. It's just like a cover thing. Oh, it's a cover. Yeah. yeah. And you bolt it. Is it normally bolted to the counter? Uh, no, there's usually rubber feet that oh, sits and on you it just and then you just tapped push. it or something. And then oh. I just undid the rubber. It's already tapped for oh. the rubber feet. So just use the bolt instead. You're going to turn on the power. This is like the max of what I can do. <laughs> like I can, I can definitely oh, I already stand on the table. It's on. So in that case, turn, turn on the machine. Turn it on. Turn it on. Boom. Boom. Oh, it looks really good. Is it on? Oh, it's on. Yeah, now it's on. It's covered quite Actually, a bit. Wow, yeah. No. It's okay. You can just it can really cover most of it. It looks, oh, it yeah. looks like a car dial. Guess the, it's oh, you can get it. You can bring it really <laughs> close. Oh, I, this, this is rubber, so. I actually, I kind of love this. You need to put the wood panel. Like, I kind of want one of these. Look, it's your backstop. This is your backstop, so it doesn't move back anymore. The coffee? You got to take off the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. ASMR moment. Oh, oh, no. Oh, this is my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, that's just fantastic. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the second like ASMR a, moment. It's like a it's like a pore oh, strip. Oh my god. <laughs> machines. Look at how good oh. it came up all at wow. once. Oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> guy's buying one now. He's selling his last three. Nice. Send over the what? This is the E80 grind oh, by weight. Okay. Short extension. All right, somewhere. we got the grinder. This looks pretty great. No, this is a really great grinder. The, the yeah, fact that it doesn't produce static when it comes out is really nice. The nice fact that there's space under the kind of like ASTs. This way you can at least have yeah, we're gonna have to you even have space out. for uh, scales and other stuff under the machine. That looks pretty good. Can you uh, I like the way open the bed by like a little bit? Yeah, but just like a little back. bit. Well, I'm gonna have to jump back <laughs> up there anyway. Exactly what I mean. But yeah, Pass this the cable. This is long enough to go around. Oh, we couldn't. We were nice. So we can put the grinder here. Just for, just for time. You got run the cable oh, exactly. around. They, they offered there we go. And then now, oh. Sky, sh turn it on. Now we got the pitcher insert set up. Yeah, like above counter. Yeah. yeah. It's the quickest one that was in ship. Basically, we're trying to simulate the actual the farmer's market setup. So we're gonna put the grinder on the right here, and then um, over here is the pitcher rinser, and then we have the cafe racer. Yeah, this is so far uh, going really well. So we're running two groups right now. What's our power draw with, if you run two oh, groups right now? Right there, Let's take a look. Yep. Looks like it's bouncing around a lot. I think I saw it up at like four point something. Okay, four kilowatts when we ran both at the same time. Yeah, it looks like it idles around like 0.5 kilowatts. And then it jumps up to like one point something. You're gonna do a video just with uh, the math on this later? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can run this basically for the whole entire day. Um, and you can so pull shots here. Like the yeah, only like big power draws are sure when that's you're that's putting that's the machine that. under really heavy load. I mean, even with two pulling two espresso at the same time, it's fine. There's no problems at all. Yeah, and that's a lot of the initial energy is like heating it up from it cold. Do, mm -hmm. so it's such a huge amount of metal. I but, still. Uh, but, I mean, the way we do things right thing. now is what Actually, how we're going to do it here too. Phone. We're just going to heat it let's up before, so like the machine's already going to be hot in the morning. And then when we drive it over, it's still going to be mostly heated up. So yeah, you guys will see that power. later. Yeah, yeah. The, the, there's uh, some strategies here that we can employ to ma maximize the efficiency so you can uh, make sure you actually can drive home after running a whole service. <laughs> can I get a espresso? <laughs> what are we dialed, maybe? So it should be much All right, you guys are dialing in. So we're, we're dialing in the coffee, I mean, but also the dialing in the machine. So yeah. to be cooler, the man has so whipped out the manual. He's RTFMing. Like so we're going to change some of the pre infusion, some of the uh, pressure settings, and all of that on the cafe racer. It's already on eight bars. And so I made it's going to be good. Eight, eight is too high. Eight is too bar. Eight is too many bars high. Yeah. So we got the porta filter pressure gauge, but. Uh, so you're one? manually adjusting the yeah, pressure I think back I have there. To probably release the pressure in here. Let's one more yeah. time. All right. So the, there's a little adjustment back there that lets you change the pressure and so you're, pump, pump you're, pressure. You're, you're yeah. almost at nine now. Okay. So this so is we should lower it. One psi yeah. over whatever we see at the group head. For you're like case, eight point five. It's not linear, so. You want to try again? Make pump. it lower. Lower You're pressure, better. About eight, yep. That looks good, actually. Yeah. Try it again. All right. No, it's a good thing we have this. Right now. Yeah. All perfect. Okay. Yeah, you're yep. about eight. Eight bars, so pump, pump pressure, pressure and pressure here there's going to be a different offset, but oh, this that, is looking good. Be... Right now we're trying to lower the pressure, basically measuring what the offset is between the pump pressure as well as the actual uh, group. So especially when you dial in espresso, right, you're going to want to make sure those pressures are in check. Uh, we like to do slightly lower pressure, you know, six to eight bars, makes it a lot sweeter, a lot less harsh, and that goes really well for a lot of those milk drinks and even straight uh, espresso. And because there's two groups, we just want to make sure those two groups each group is uh very similar in terms of performance it went a little fast yeah this yeah good although yeah, 25 seconds yeah yeah make it finer this is a coffee oh, i think you need finer yeah. but we're also at eight i'm gonna bar. hate it but so. i guess that's the point you could go yeah. finer to <laughs> compensate oh uh, you might actually want to do two and a half um ratio so that's so our change ratio yeah 50 50 no i stopped there at like 46 47 oh yeah it tastes thin it's it's it's, it's, well, it's gonna taste. There's not as much body as the the ones that we pulled. 
It was definitely. I like the minute long one yeah. better. Yeah, the minute <laughs> that one was much yeah, better. It had sweetness. So it was like good this one, it, this is like that higher acidity, modern, 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 modern style yeah. espresso. Oh, oh, the one you did before was much better. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't change things. Was it was Harry, good. What have you done? Uh, yeah, why do you, you, you mess with the machine? I wanted to go to eight bar because the my I consulted Brian Kwan. <laughs> no, that was a six bar shot before. No, it was the pump the pressure is set too high. The minute long shot was was six bar. No, the pump was at uh, is at nine, right? It was really high. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. So yeah, dialing in the espressos. It is a journey, but we'll get the setup and then uh, the grind sizes should be relatively the same for the actual service. Um, so the truck's just been on this entire time and we've been dialing in everything. And so far, uh, well, I mean, it's hard. I'm just going to say dialing in with a new machine and new grinder is very hard. Yeah, but um, the truck is not the limiter here. It is human skill issue. <laughs> um, but what are you gonna make now? You you guys have steamed so much milk. Yeah, you guys have gone through already basically a gallon of milk. No, we, we, we didn't use all of it. It started off halfway. Oh, okay. You've been steaming, machine's working fine. The amount of water that is here is also completely fine. No. Uh, but I think I think they got the uh, grind size and all that stuff dialed in now. I've just been chilling. You're holding the hand there because it's windy, right? Yeah, it's windy. <laughs> No, we're hiding our shots. Sequence. You're hiding the shots. But yeah, it is It is a little windy today. Even if you get spattered portafilters, uh, your your streams might fly around yeah, with the wind. Over, but it's okay. It's okay. So over, tw no, basically like, what, 25 seconds? Steam me, make me a latte. It's actually pretty fast. It, it is, yeah, it's hella fast. It's still the, I, I forgot what it was. The, what's the machine that Kaizen has? The, the Keys Van der Western, yeah. KDVW. When you did the court, when uh, Chun did the Cortado, that one's even faster. That was insane. It's good see, see, see if like... you've learned how to steam milk. Oh, it's so fast. I know. Oh my God. So yeah, you know, this is what we've been doing the whole entire day is just kind of for the past few hours, just pulling shots, making lattes. The truck is completely fine. Let's actually take a real quick look at the battery life. Uh, 89% and you know when there's when you're steaming it's like drawing maybe three three kilowatts. Um, so it, it's it's pretty stabilized in terms of uh, how much power usage you can have um, and, and there's no problems at all if anybody was wondering. Yeah, so it goes up to maybe like three kilowatts when you're uh, steaming versus like four and a half if you run the group. So I think maybe each group is around like one and a half kilowatts. Whenever you're pulling a shot, it'll peak up to there, but it's only for 20, 30 uh, seconds. I missed it, but here you go. Thank My, like, you. My third time ever pulling and doing. That, that, that's really good. You're, oh, maybe it's because the machine is so good, the steam oh, power you're, you're carried. Please. But that's good texture. The nice thing is we have so much space. Um, can basically put drinks here. You can put a ton of other stuff. And um, yeah, so what do you guys think about the workspace on the truck so far? There's space. It's, there's, yeah. I mean, there's, there's, we have more space than we did with the two espresso machines mm -hmm. before. Um, and this is faster than both of those machines combined, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Because like steaming over there this is, is like, it's a little long though. Dialed in espresso. So yeah, I mean, you, you basically can just push the drinks over and over uh, and push the machine and the truck's gonna last and uh, the, the metal's powder coated. And then this is like a la uh, a sheet uh, no, over so the wood, right? Is, yeah, so this is wood and it's kind of had like another layer added on top of it. Yeah, actually. it's much cleaner, and much more water painted. resistant. Yeah. So uh, before in the last video you guys saw, this is not painted, now it's painted just been dialing in these coffees, or I haven't been dialing in, but these guys behind me have been, and Did you see that? made like a latte, <laughs> made a ton of espressos. It tastes exactly like how it should taste like, because this at the end of the day is a commercial setup. We have had no problems with anything uh, to do with the truck or the power. You know, we wanted to get that baseline test, right? This is the physical mock-up of what we're going to actually be doing this weekend. No problem so far. We got the coffee and the machine and the grinder uh, a lot more dialed in. 
Wow, four hours later. Uh, it would start, by the way, again, 91% and it's only at 86%. It's also a really cool thing of the machine we have on here, which is very, very efficient, the San Remo Cafe Racer, very efficient in terms of power usage, but it is just the fact that the uh, the truck is able to basically keep the power on like this. But yeah, we're just still dialing in coffee for Sunday. Ta coffee's tasting better. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, getting good. Machines. Well, we've been here for the past few hours dialing in coffees and uh, we're getting pretty close. Yeah, but otherwise that is it for this video. Just wanted to basically dial in the coffees, dial in the machines, show off the actual first setup. Obviously things have gotten a little prettier. We've gotten more stuff on the truck. This next video you're gonna see is us actually putting this in use at the very first farmer's market service. And then after that, you'll see some other videos, but basically I'm trying to keep up kind of like a episode, like each episode, there's like a new type of thing we're doing. Um, and then eventually we're gonna start going in and looking at the exact uh, machines, the exact types of things we're putting on the truck. But so far, uh, Today, it's been great. We've been running it for the past few hours. No problems on anything. Machines and coffees and all that are much more dialed in. So yeah, but thank you guys so much for spending time to watch this video. Thanks Harry for being in this. Thanks Ming and thanks Alex and thanks Mabel. Uh, but others, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.